Welcome to Results Driven by RW. I am RW. Excited about being here on tonight. Got some great stuff I want to share with you. We got some upcoming events, and I'm looking forward to doing some stuff to share with you to help you not just increase your current business, but also give you other opportunities to make additional funds without having to go and work for it. I'm actually going to be doing a class here in a couple of weeks after we get through this first month on how to build multiple streams of income that you don't have to work for. Getting to that place to where you get beyond just hard work. You know, a lot of guys tell you, you got to work hard for your money and you should be diligent. Uh, you should be uh, working towards something, but not to the point that you, it can keep, consumes you and you're unable to balance your life to enjoy the journey. I think often we forget that there is a journey and you don't want to miss moments chasing the next moment. So we'll talk about that too. But guys, on tonight, I want to go ahead and jump in. So we're going to deal with the first thing. Housekeeping. All right, guys, I want you guys, if you can, take some notes. I'm going to drop some bombs tonight, and I'm going to be getting you to write some stuff down that I want you to be working on. Um, we are pretty much getting close to this whole month. I kind of want to deal in and out of strategic planning and also just getting you guys in position to make sure we're launching and doing what you should be doing, okay? And also to make sure you're focused, because as we talked about last week, you, it's easy to get off key. It's easy to get off, off course. It's easy to get off direction because of life. But I want to help you stay focused because life will happen. But it's a matter of staying focused even to miss all that happening. So take notes. Get your camera on if you can. Uh, if you can't, totally cool. I'm good with that. I do love to see your smiling faces. I think the expressions on your face are, are priceless at times, especially at some of the points as I go back through the videos. I'm like, man, that expression was crazy. I wonder what she was thinking. So I <laughs> definitely love to see your expressions. Ask questions. Matter of fact, open up my chat. If you would put your name and your business, your name and your business, and that will we'll know who we got and who we're working with. We do in this network work together. Many of you, I think actually all of you I've done business with. And to me, that's what we want. We want everyone flowing and working and helping to get helping each other out. I believe that helps us to grow and become even better as we go forward. And of course, only unmute when called upon. We are going to have some time um, to actually go through and talk about all the information that we're going through. Because I know sometimes it's like getting a fire hose put in your mouth where there's a lot of information, but there's no real understanding because you don't get a chance to express it or even ask questions. And we want to make sure you get a chance to do that. Okay. All right. Let me move on a little further. This week's wins. You know, I love to hear about your wins. Wins are so important because once again, dealing with a lot of overachievers, <laughs> you always overlook the good things that happen in your life. And you got to make sure you take moments to celebrate that. That's one thing I did a not a good job of when I first started out my business. I was so focused on what I wasn't doing. I didn't focus on what I was doing. I was so focused on what didn't happen that I didn't focus on what did happen. And um, I think what has brought me to a point of gratitude, learning how to be uh, thankful for where I'm at, um, but still knowing that there's more to get but still learning to enjoy the very moment, okay? So real quick, who's got that this week's win? Open up the chat, real, open up my, my, my voice right there real quick, and let's see who's got a good week's win. What did you do this week? It can be anything, as long as it's a win. Let's go, what is it? Doshana got her smart glasses on, so number one, I wanna give her kudos for the smart look, I'm just saying. <laughs> Just for that, I'll go first. I got go a couple first. of things this week. Win number one, I sold another sweatshirt, my prayer sweatshirt that says, humbly, I pray boldly. So whoop, whoop. Uh, wow. Win number two, I submitted all my information to separate my websites. So that project of, 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 of launching the coaching business is even that much closer to being ready. And win number three. I showed up. <laughs> well, you know what? To me, all of those are big wins. And so I appreciate you winning with us and sharing those wins. Those are huge. Um, I know for a lot of you guys, some of you guys, I am now learning that I'm coaching coaches, which is a beautiful thing. So let's help you get even to that next level to where we can build your audience and build your stage. That's what I want to work on. And some of you, we're going to be doing events together this year to where we can help build your stage and get you out to where you want to be. I have a big dream. That dream is to have such a huge stage 
that I can bring other people on and let them shine too. Um, there's an old saying that says, ain't no fun if my homies don't get none. So I want to make sure you all get some of that shine. Amen. Did I say amen? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, because I really want you to be blessed and I want your family to be blessed. All right. So with that being said, next win. Who's got another win? Come on. What you got? I'll go. go. I signed, hi, hi, everyone. What's I up, signed, Angie? I signed up through the Macy's program for uh, minority Black women in business. And they, I have to wait to actually be in their class of 2024. But at the same token, they put me on this thing called Range Me which is um, being a possible supplier for other stores and markets and things of that nature where I could put my items in their store. So they've been reaching out with me constantly all, all this week and giving me all kinds of tidbits. So they wanna see my product and this and that. So I'm excited to see where that goes. I really wanna be in the Macy's store, but um, we're gonna take baby steps, I guess, to get there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, back that thing up. Girl, you can jump right on in there. You can show up at Macy's tomorrow. What you talking about, girl? We're gonna talk about that tonight. I'm glad you mentioned it. Great, 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 great win. That is what I'm talking about. Let's get into Macy's, man. I, I can't wait to say, you know, one of my students got into Macy's. <laughs> so that even sounds good to me, you know what I'm saying? My student got into Macy's. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I like this, I like the way that sounds. Cool. What else? What else? They got any any another win? Who's got another win on tonight? That's good. Good stuff, Angie. Thanks for sharing. Who else we got? Got a good win. One more, and I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward. Got one kind of deep, kind of deep, kind of deep. Hey. All right. So I was on shift, one of my caseloads at court had been continuously postponed and um, he had court for certification. Long story be told, he got certified. So he's now moved up into the adult system having to go through courts with his crimes that he committed. And um, <clears throat> the energy around all of this, it was an automatic alert, right? And alert to a level of safety and security to where this youth already know had the mindset that he didn't care anymore. Um, all I could think about during this time was, you know, just reassure him and, and keep the peace. Um, I think the win is, is that I was able to keep him calm without becoming violent. Um, very grateful and uh, I had to transport him down to another facility and just you know at, at the drive down which is more so about you know accepting consequences stepping into manhood and hopefully understanding that you know there is still light at the end of the tunnel as long as you are prepared to to move forth in a way that you really want to change your mind and how you conduct yourself. Um, so even with all that going on, you know, there was a wide spectrum of emotions that went on. This youth was very open to my words, right? So I think the how I see it is, it was like a storm brewing, like a tornado. And I was able to meet him in the center of it and help him stay centered. Hmm. Man, that's a huge win. That's almost like a life-changing win. Yeah. Wow. Well, man, we appreciate the job that you do down there, man. I tell you, it is definitely needed, and I thank God as you do. Thank you. Good stuff, Doc, that's, that's life-changing stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That scenario was someone this week also that was very detrimental, and we were able to walk through it. So, man. Just understand and appreciate you and keep doing what you're doing because we need you on that wall, my friend. All right, thanks so much for sharing, guys. All right, well, let's jump on into a little bit more. I want to spotlight, it's, it's event time, guys. It is event time. I hope you're ready 
for this next level of, of craziness that we're about to step into it. Bam, about to do, we are doing a real estate strategies class. We're gonna show you what to buy, when to buy, how to buy, uh, get your set up. I know sometimes what happens in life is like, well, you know, I'm not there yet. Get there before you get there. Don't wait until you're able to find out how to strategize your life because especially as entrepreneurs, some of you, we need to sit down before you even file your taxes to make sure you're showing enough income so when you are ready to file for your home, you're able to do so. Or if you're looking to do some investments, I'll just show you how to make those things work and put them into place. So we're going to be talking about on uh, Saturday, January 28th, I think it is. And we're going to be talking about how to build your real estate portfolio. Also, too, with the look for, we've been connecting with a few people that have some really good deals out there that might be worth a gander. So come on out, be a part. It's going to be exciting. Um, of course, I'm going to have some, some other uh, spotlight guests there that's going to help us out. And uh, looking forward to being an exciting time. And also, my goal is, for those of you that are already ready and in position, is within the next 90 days of purchasing your first piece of property. I said it. Within the next 90 days, purchasing your first piece of property, if you're already prepared. If you're getting ready, getting, getting your mind set, set on it, good. We should start working towards that goal now. Let's not wait until the end of the year to start working towards that. Let's go ahead and start working on it now. Okay? So that's one big event that's coming up. Our next month, I'm going to be dealing with our great wise one is going to be teaching us how to write your first ebook. And so that's coming up on the sheet. Also, I have another class we're going to do showing you how to make money on Facebook. I'm going to show you through one of my affiliates, one of my, my, one of my clients are going to show you how to make money on Facebook. So we got some good stuff coming up in this first quarter. I'm excited about it. Many of you will be able to make some moves that will shift you for the rest of the year in this first three months with our sessions, okay? And because you're a part of Results Driven RW, our group, group, you are, of course, free. You come, you be a part, get blessed, get some good knowledge, all right? So tonight, I want to get part two. Last week, I know I dealt with uh, disruption uh, follows intention. I dealt with that last week purposely because I want to interrupt our planning session to remind you that as you're making these decisions, all hell's gonna break loose. And so once you realize that that's gonna happen, then you won't trip as you start making these things come to reality, okay? So tonight, I want you to, I wanna remind you, don't just think it, ink it. In other words, make sure, how many of you guys have put, come on, tell me the truth, don't lie, Tell the truth and shame the devil. Have you put down your goals and your plans for 2023? Put it in the chat now. Go. I'll give you one minute. Yes or no. It's not, well, I was working on it. Well, I was thinking about it. You know, it was in my spirit. I, I get all that, but I need to know, did you actually put it on paper? And if you didn't, um, I'm going to be challenging you and even giving you something for doing it because I think it's that important important because you know if you don't have a vision or you don't have a plan and how you know where you're going all right i see partially no yes all right okay partially completed all right guys yes i'm gonna be challenging you you got to get this thing done and i want it done before the end of this month you got to get that thing on paper and i'm going to talk about here in a moment why it's so important because if it's not on paper it's not really that important you know you have a lot of stuff that's in your head um, and you probably did maybe some of the same things last year. We're going to talk about, too, how to overcome what you didn't do last year so you don't fit in the same cycle you did before. And also even the year before, because I do find out we're creatures of habit. So if we do something, generally you do the same thing just in different areas. OK, and so we want to make sure we lock you down to start putting this thing on paper. I've given you a whole lot of tools. If you can't remember, go back, check out the YouTube videos. Make sure you lock in to the things that we've noted that you need to have written down, okay? Next thing is, I like this, what Albert Einstein says. He says, the same thinking that has led you where you are is not going to lead you to where you want to go. In other words, what you thought last year was good, but it's not gonna get you to where you're really trying to get to this year. That means you're gonna need more information processed to action. 
Because the information is always going to be good, but the execution is where the results come from. Okay? So last year was good. You had some good thoughts, great thoughts, things. I mean, you were clicking. But we want to make sure those thoughts turn into action this year. We're going to make sure that you do what you say and say what you do. Okay? For a quick moment, before we go any further, I want you to suspend reality. I want you to let your thoughts flow. Matter of fact, if you had a pen and pad and you have partially completed or almost completed, I want you to get a pen and pad out real quick. I want your thoughts about what you really want. And real quick, three things. What do you want income? What does your income look like for 2023? Let your thoughts flow, okay? What, what trips do you wanna take? Write down three places real quick. What three places do you wanna go this year? I know this year I'm going to uh, Jamaica. Colombia has a question mark on it as in when, and then I'm going to Africa. So those are my three big trips this year. Where are you going this year? And then the last thing is, what relationships are gonna be on the men this year and gonna be super solid that were not solid on last year? Flow real quick, we'll give you like another minute. And the reason I said suspended reality because a lot of times we focus on what it is right now. I want you to forget where it's at right now. What do you want it to be? What do you want it to be? I want you to think about this as you're writing. Your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's fake. The only person that makes it real is you. Because I know a lot of people that are broke, but they live in abundance. I know a lot of people that do that. And I know that with that thinking, they will get to where their mind is. Everything I've done, everything I've thought about has come to pass because I put it out there and I began to make it to where it was already done, which I'm gonna show you here in a moment. All right, if you're done, you're done, just do me a favor and put in the chat, done. And I'm gonna move to the next thing. So I'm not just gonna talk about you, not getting it done, I wanna help you. And if you've already done it, I wanna add to what you already got, all right? So just type done in the chat, done, done, done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good job, good job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job, good job. All right, let's move forward. Where do you see your business by the end of 2023? Let me help you with this. You must think about the finish. You cannot keep just thinking about the journey because I want you to enjoy the journey. But where are you gonna finish this year? There's a thing that where some of you guys that are spiritual, you understand that uh, God made the end from the beginning. He made the beginning, I mean, he made the end first and then he did the beginning. He worked backwards. And this is interesting because most people don't think about the finish. They only think about, well, I gotta go through all this to get there. No, 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 no. Focus on the finish. So where do you see your business? Real quick, just jot down some quick things without thinking about it. Stop thinking so much. Stop overthinking it. Where do you see your business? Give you another minute. Where do you see your, don't think about it. Don't try to process it. Don't make it sound good. All right, one more minute. One more minute. All right, where do you see your business by the end of 2023? How many clients do you have? How many clients do you have? How many sales per month? What's that volume look like for you? What partnerships did you hook up with this year? Who, who did you connect with on the next level? Hmm. Did you do a commercial? 
You know, I see myself on a billboard. Where, where do you see yourself? End of the year. All right, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. One of the longest minutes you've ever had. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Now, next thing, guys, this is, I know it. I love this class. You guys are amazing. I see everybody writing and engaged. So next thing is, I want you to make statements in the first person. I am X versus I want X. Matter of fact, I want to get want out of your vocabulary or I hope out of your vocabulary. Or I'm sure wishing, you know, I mean, with the help of the Lord, I, I get all that. That sounds good, good, spiritual. It sounds all those things. But put I am, what is that thing you're going to be at the end of the year? Like I put in mind, I am 178 pounds of lean, mean fighting machine. That's on my sheet, literally. <laughs> What, what I am are you going to say? I'm not talking about what you, oh, well, I sure hope. I'm going to hope this happened. I need you to, to go ahead and I know, I know Jesse kept hope alive. You know, I say it every now and again, keep hope alive. But I need you to go beyond hope and go into I am the greatest. You know, that's what I love about my guy, man. He said, I am the greatest. He didn't even fight nobody yet. <laughs> but he, he made an I am statement. You know? I am a published author. I am a, a leader to leaders. I am a powerful coach with X clients. I am opening another location over off of Durango. I'm sorry, that was my personal. Yes, you, you had to start putting it to the point to where you really know what you want. And then now putting it as if it's already done. All right, I'm gonna give you one more minute. I am what, I am what? Come on, write it down. Don't think about it. Don't try to process all of this. I am what? I am, I'm actually doing a talk this weekend and the, 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 I'm coming from the place of uh, learning how to be victorious before the battle even starts. And I think some of you understand how to, instead of just playing not to lose, what if you played to win? I am a best-selling author. I am in Macy's. My clothing line is known because I am El Shada Moore. <laughs> what is the I am statements? I got one more minute, one more minute. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job, guys. I see you working. I see you working. I want you to get rid of I want, I hope, I, I show it sound good. We're getting past that this year. You're going to start speaking as if it's already done. All right. Great job, guys. Great job. Let's keep going. Next thing. So what you want, what you want, really. In other words, are you living someone else's dream? Is this the thing that you want to do? And if it is, why? Write two reasons why. Two reasons why. Why this is really what you want. You guys are doing good. And the reason I have to ask this question is sometimes, you know, my mom wanted me to be a doctor. I'm so glad that I didn't go the route she wanted me to go. Now doctors are my clients. <laughs> so, imagine how that works up. So make sure what you want is really what you want. It can't be because I want it. it can't be because your husband want it. Your daughter want it, your dog want it, your cat want it. It's got to be what you want. What do you want? I want a billboard. I want a legacy. I want a name that echoes into eternity. What do you want? And, and be okay saying it. Matter of fact, let me throw this in there, guys. 
Some of you, you are afraid to say, I am the best tax advisor on the planet. I am the best book writer on the planet. Put that down. Is what you want, what you want. All right, guys, let's move on. We're almost there. What are you willing to fight for? What do you see as an enemy to your industry, your family, your community, or your world? What is an area that makes you mad that you want to fight? Me, financial literacy. You know, I went and meet, uh, I did a school career day on yesterday. It was amazing watching those kids get another mindset just in that few moments that I had with them. It makes me upset to see a lot of these kids not knowing about stuff that I wish that somebody would have told me about. And so I want to be that guy to tell them. Right now I'm starting to work on generations. In other words, I helped the parents, now I'm helping the kids. What is that thing that makes you upset that now you're willing to go and fight, fight for it? Some of you, I know it's your generational uh, curses that were out there that now you're, you're willing to fight for them for it not to become what affects you. What is that thing? All right, I'll give you one more minute. What are you willing to fight for? Who are you advocating for? Who is that person, that thing, or what is that thing that makes you like, ah, make you want to get up off the bed in the morning? All right, let's move on. So let's talk about it. I know I give you a lot. I want this to be not just a class that you come and hear me, but now you participate and engage because ultimately your year will look like the way you plan it. Okay? Now, real quick, I want to open this up for discussion. And this is important. I know we just went to the future, but I want to backtrack one step. And how many of you guys can see my question I just had up there? Let me give it back to you. Why didn't you accomplish some of your goals last year? Real quick in the chat, one word answers. Why didn't you accomplish some of your goals last year? Now, I know you accomplished goals last year, absolutely. But why didn't you? Put in the chat real quick, and then I want to discuss it real quick. Who's willing to share? Why didn't you accomplish some of your goals last year? Now, Shana, what was one of the reasons that you didn't accomplish one of your goals last year? I'm sure you did a lot of them, but which, what was the reason that you didn't accomplish some? My, I got sick. I got the type of, and it was, it wasn't just, uh, it was a type of sick that was debilitating. So I couldn't breathe, walk, move. So I definitely couldn't do, <laughs> do the work to accomplish the goals. Gotcha. 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 And it put you in a place to where now, when it comes down to it, was this something that could have been prevented if you would have taken better care of yourself? I don't know. I think, I think it was just the, I want to, uh, the luck of the draw, you know, you hit a certain age, your body starts to do stuff and medical treatment isn't necessarily as responsive as you need it to be. Um, so as you go, as I went through that process, you know, I was very frustrated because it was like, hey, how come we're not doing this today if this is such a big deal? Um, and I really had to advocate for myself, even with medical professionals to get them to move as quickly as they did, even though they were kind of slow. So it wasn't a, I didn't get the kind of sick that was preventable. It wasn't, you know, a cold turned to pneumonia, turned to bronchitis. It wasn't the type of stuff I was worn out. It wasn't that type of sick. Um, it was a reproductive issue and that, that's, that's, that's gold. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. Now, here's another question. If you're in tip top shape and that happens to you, does it affect you to maybe the way it did? Yeah, yeah. When you lose iron, you don't have oxygen. So that's not, a, it's not even about your inner, it's not about your um, athleticism. It, you don't have iron. You don't have iron, you don't have oxygen. You don't have oxygen, you are having problems breathing. Um, and if you can't breathe, you can't move. Okay. So I wasn't, it was, and that was a thing, like it wasn't like, 
It wasn't like, man, damn. It wasn't like, man, damn, get up, girl. That's why you, you should have been traveling. You should have been like, I went through all that, but it had nothing to do with any of that. It was just like, yo, we reproductive and we about to do something real quick. Like, huh, what? Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Push pause. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. The only reason I ask those questions is, it's almost like for me, God forbid, God forbid, but if I've ever got cancer, I just want to make sure that I'm in such a place to where, like you said, things are going to happen, but how do I work through them and make sure that I'm making sure that I'm putting myself in a position to win no matter what? And so I think we have to look at, because a lot of this stuff, I, I believe, and maybe I could be proven wrong, is in what we eat, what we don't eat. You know, um, I'm sure even now with the situation that you went through, did you have to adjust some things in what you're doing or did you keep doing the same things? Um, other than medication, of course. Well, well, and then uh, the other sidebar was that the medication causes depressive mood. So it was like, wait a minute, what's really going on here, people? Um, so I'm not on medication anymore. Hallelujah. So I feel my mind coming back. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but uh, I, I think in the process, in the process, right? I have received some prophetic word. There's a prophetic, uh, how do I say this? There was an impression in the spirit of things were going to be changing. And so I really did uh, rest. I didn't fight it. I rested through it. And now I'm, I received the revelation of rest and knowing that, you know, everything isn't for me to do. Um, I got, as a result of that stint, not being able to do everything I wanted to do, um, having to sit down and could not move and could not go and could not do. Um, I, I, it helped me gain clarity. Like, here's, here's what I'm going to do. And here's what I'm not going to do. It also helped me to be in a mindset to hear differently. Um, I heard you say something. Come back and get them. It wasn't the first time you said it, but it was the first time I heard it. And I do kind of press that into the reason of me being sick. Like I can't go and carry all y'all at the same time because if something like this happens again, then we all get stuck at this and that doesn't work either. So let me just go and come back and get you. And so I, I do have more clarity. I was able to get lots of sleep and have a choice. <laughs> but uh, absolutely, absolutely. Some of the things that would have set me up for failure, some of the things that would have knocked me down on my tail uh, were prevented because of that particular situation, that particular health issue. Um, so I didn't have to get the other kind of sick, the preventable sick, because yeah because everything that went with that, it kind of just pulled everything and stopped everything. So it was definitely at the end of the day, it's a blessing. Um, at the end of the day, I've got clarity. I've got something to, to praise about. I have got some, I've got, a, I've got a pathway to go on. Um, and so where I had a lot of confusion or, you know, even in our sessions, no direction, <laughs> I got direction now. Good, good. Wow, you, you said a mouthful, and I can I, I, I flow with you absolutely in it, because ultimately it sounds like even though it wasn't good, it was good. It was good, and that's, that's, that's powerful, because um, it's from a position of power, not weakness, and by you embracing it, it went better, and I think we had talked about that a little bit, just, hey, if this was where we're at, embrace it, like when I got COVID, wasn't preventable, but I embraced it, and it was the best thing ever when I was able to see, okay, we're here, let's deal with it. Let's get through it and move forward. I like it. Good stuff. Thanks for sharing. That's good stuff. All right, Andy, what was it for you? Why didn't you accomplish some of your goals last year? Thanks for sharing, Delshawn. That's, that's really good stuff. Well, I'm just going to honestly say that I didn't push forward hard enough. I didn't push towards them hard mm -hmm. enough. So it's kind of like, how can you say, um, you're on and off, on and off, on and off. You know what I'm saying? You stay focused for a minute and then you get deterred and do something else. And then you say, oh, oh, let me come back. Oh, I need to be doing this. Um, just not giving it 100%. That's the best, that's the best answer. 
Beautiful. Well, you know what? I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate your openness. Um, this is, guys, this is a little moment here. It can have to happen because it makes you not go back to what was. And that's why I wanted to bring it on the screen to where now it's like, what, what am I not going to do next year? Because of what I did last year didn't work. So now this year I'm changing. I believe a lot of you, just from what I've seen over the last six months, you've grown tremendously. So you guys are doing amazing. Thank you for sharing. Robbie, what, what are you thinking? Why, why didn't you accomplish that? And I see some of your chat issue, chat stuff going on, but if you can walk that out for me, what, what does that mean for you? The indecis indecisiveness, um, not sure how would I fit in or where would I fit in. Um, I was sort of running around, you know, like on um, cartoons, how they have the Tasmanian devil running around, hitting stuff, hitting stuff, and then, you know, trying to be everything for everybody instead of trying to be decisive for myself. And, you know, wow. setting, putting my 10 toes down, knowing this is what I'm going to do. Mm. So it was indecisiveness. So once I made up my mind, it was good. Wow. And I can tell you what, once you made up your mind, you went, great job, <laughs> great job, great job. <laughs> Cool. Uh, Lee, I, I know you're at work. I don't know if you jumped on and still on, but uh, what was that for you? Yeah. Uh, for me, it was just, um, I think the, the, the biggest thing was uh, like, there were some things that for one, I, I didn't, um, I, I saw some of my goals as like a, like I knew it was possible, but I just felt like it was too big at the same time. Like I was like, oh, I know I could do that, but I don't see it as a reality right now. Like I'm not big enough or I don't have what it takes right now. And then some of it was also having the right information because some of the things I want to do, there's so much information out there, but I wasn't sure how to sort it out. And then another part of it was my, my habits of thinking and the thing of my habits of the past. And um, once I started doing the new habits, I, I felt resistance from my old habits and, and sorting that part out as well. So um, those were the main thing that either stopped me from achieving my goals or like I didn't accomplish as much of it as I intended to. Hmm. Good news, it sounded like you sit back and you looked at it and you made, you're making the adjustments though. Oh, yes, sir. I, I, absolutely. It, it gave me, um, that gave me somewhat of momentum of what's the difference this year. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Good. Thanks for sharing. That, that's good stuff right there, man. Uh, Miss Tiffany, I knew you had some dramatic stuff that happened last year, but here you are, still yet again, ready to rock and roll. Here I am. Um, <laughs> well, what stops me? Family, being a 24 hour, seven day a week caretaker, um, battling depression, uh, doubt, um, being self absorbed, where you don't believe that you can do what God tell you or hey, have shown you because all of the different things that's going on in your life at the moment and just um, losing focus mm. to sum it up. Well, you know what? That's a big summation right there. But good news is sounds like once again, being self-aware is where I'm bringing you guys to. So I appreciate that transparency. That is powerful. Um, I think that's one thing that in business or as business people, we don't get the opportunity to let people know that these things happen. And all those things you said have all happened to me. And so it's not that anybody is chosen or picked out or, or whatever, it just happens. Uh, but good news is you're back in the saddle and you're moving forward. So obviously this year is gonna be a whole lot better than last year. And it's gonna be a great year. I'm excited for you, that is for sure. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for sharing, Tiffany. That, that's, that's deep, that's heavy, and that's all good. Appreciate that. All right, Troy, Troy, what'd you get, man? What, I saw you put a few things in there. Um, <clears throat> so let me go back to what I shared. So the not completing tasks, that's for sure one, and then while taking on more. So I've, I know I've shared in this chat forum, 
And on our one-on-one conversations is that I know I'm in a time of growth and adjustment. I know I'm pivoting. Um, and I think that I am struggling with the level of patience that it does take to upload. Um, we're used to just kind of thinking it and doing it. There's an adjustment, like I said, because I'm growing, taking on more. So it requires a different mindset uh, of application. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think that I'm feeling that it's just more so to stay focused, stay the course, even if I'm failing, right? Like, for example, not completing tasks, just, you know, day by day, take it by that component. And I would say for this past week, like day by day has been a component that has been like ringing in my mind, like day by day. And um, I, I'm telling a lot of people who, who know me, you know, I'm just kind of getting back on my saddle, you know, and as I'm getting back into that, that, that focus, that fierceness, um, I'm just learning how to balance it all still because it's not just me anymore, right? Where I was able to sacrifice you know, not doing certain things for the for the betterment of the growth. Mommy. I gotta, gotta think about the young, you know. So uh I'm also seeing that being in the moment is something I can appreciate more, even if I don't like the moment, it's something for me to be able to reflect on more. Uh so all I can do is just continue to tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in and continuously just you know itch and scratch say itch and scratch scratch and punch however you want to hear it uh towards the completion so i think that this year <clears throat> there should be some type of uh completion of goals for sure um especially with the level of growth i have a have taken on now i know how to kind of schedule and, and anticipate certain things um so I'm excited. Beautiful, man. I think you're on the right path. I know there's a lot going on. That's why, you know, last week's message to me was very powerful. I think it was just one of one for realizing that, yes, every time we make those intentions, something's going to pop up. But uh, you guys are rock stars in my book because there's a lot that could have stopped you from even getting back on the horse this year, but you're moving and you're doing a great job. So let me go to my next thing real quick. Thanks, Troy, for sharing. Good stuff, man. Appreciate you. So next question, and, and we're getting there. What limiting beliefs stopped you last year from accomplishing your goals? In other words, tell me your BS. I, and I want to hear the BS, your belief system, an aspect of the stuff you told yourself that was just so asinine, so stupid, but it sounded good at the time. Do you realize that sometimes we can tell ourselves a story and that story makes sense to us? And it so makes sense to us, but it's really a bunch of BS because it's just our belief system hasn't adjusted to come to who we're coming into, um, i.e., you know, I had someone that told me, well, you know, the economy. I said, I get it, but I guess I'm so focused on building my own economy, I could care less what the economists are saying. I'm moving in my own economy, my own system, my own thought patterns. And so uh, how many know it's easy to blame others or blame things or, or places for why you haven't gotten to where you're trying to get to? And I mean, a lot of it is just because really it's your belief. You know, I, I, there's a, a guy, a comedian that said called self-esteem. And uh, a lot of times this stuff is dealing with yourself, you know, but we can take on other people's thoughts and make them our thoughts. And before you know it, you develop these limiting beliefs that stop you from accomplishing your goals. So what BS, if I can use that word, did you try to give yourself, what, what stuff did you try to feed yourself last year you know, I just don't got enough time. Uh, it's just, I got too much on my plate. And you know what? I want you to think about this. Whenever you say I got too much on my plate, you're really saying I don't have the capacity for the next level. This year, was it this year? Yeah, I think it was this year. Uh, many of you know, I've got my niece um, and it's been great for me, amazing. I've learned so much and grown so much just as a person and been blessed for her to be in my life at this point. But if I didn't have the capacity, there's no way that I could have took on something else. I opened up two more businesses this year. Maybe three. Oh, anyway, it was a couple of them. And so if I don't have capacity for it, then you can't grow beyond where you're at. So either A, like we talked about last week, you got to get rid of some stuff. 
or you look at what you're doing that you shouldn't be doing, which is pretty much the same as getting rid of some stuff. So real quick, I want to hear what is the BS you told yourself last year? Come on, give me, give me some BS. I mean, you, it sounded real good to you. It sounded real good. It really did sound real good to you. What was that thing that you said that really was a bunch of BS or was just you thinking about your limiting beliefs and held you back from moving forward. So for you, what was that, uh, Deshaun, I think you're on the phone making those cranking those calls that I'd like to see that. That's good, keep it moving. Uh, let's go back to Delshana. Delshana, what was that BS you told yourself last year? It's like, wow, well, that sounds good. That's believe it or not, I didn't believe I could charge for that. Wow. That, that was huge and major. And I can say that in retrospect because I watched a video from a prayer from a prayer program I was in, and the response to one of my questions resonated that that was my issue the whole time. I didn't believe I could charge for that. I knew it was a value. I know I'm a value, but connecting that with actually expecting someone to pay me in my heart and in my mind, I wasn't there, I wasn't there yet. And the other thing that I believed was that I, it, it's not time. And so I kept saying to myself, no, 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 not right now. No, maybe later. Like, I don't know. No, 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 not this. It's not a good time right now. And, it, and so it wasn't so much that I didn't have the capacity for it. I was basically saying, no, like, I'm not ready. But there's wow. nothing else I need to be ready. I have enough to give right now. Um, and so, you know, that's part of my revelation for the new year and, and grabbing a hold of the of the, the bull's horns and riding it. It's basically agreeing that no, I can charge for that. I can expect payment for that. And yes, right now. Right now. That is uh that is huge. My goodness, that is <laughs> huge. Because I know we had a conversation similar to this. I'm like, what, what are you doing, Delshaw? <laughs> show me the money. I kept show me the money. <laughs> All these I was like, I think I will go back to school. You were like, uh, you're gonna go back to school? Like, <laughs> All right, right, you know what? I appreciate you rolling with me, girl. I I, I, I appreciate you allowing me to be in your life. <laughs> I guess we've had some crazy conversations. Anyway, so. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for sharing. That's powerful, powerful, powerful. Wow, that's that's some good stuff right there. Thank you. Lee, Lee, give me some of that BS, man. What's that BS you had last year that you told yourself that sounded good, but now you know it's not true? Um, for me, it was trying things and not seeing it going the way I wanted it to go. And so kind of just like, having that giving up attitude or a feel or a fear of failure based on like the past. And then, um, and because of that, like having a feeling of like inefficiency, like, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if I try this, uh, like it's, I, I just don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So those were like the biggest things that um, stood in my way. Um, but I mean, uh, you've been, you kind of pushed me to just like, oh man, just try some things. I'm like, oh, it worked. <laughs> so I was like, you know, yeah, like that was my biggest thing. You know? Wow. Uh, well, I tell you what, you definitely uh, stepped it up game and I was so impressed by how you've done some things and put yourself out there more, which is really awesome because ultimately you don't know until you know. And um, I think we had a conversation, yes, about, I don't fear failure. I feel failure is a part of success. So I chalk it up in the game and uh, keep it moving. So I appreciate you, your boldness for stepping forward and doing that. So good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Gloria, I don't know if you're with us. Are you, I know you're working, not working. What's some of that BS you had from last year? I think I shared in the chat that, um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I think I shared in the chat that last year it was, and I, I've been so busy. I'm like, I'm busy. I'm, I'm so busy. I don't know if I can handle more, but I think as we began to spoke, you're saying, well, you're busy with clients who don't really value you because I'll do things and they'll be like, well, wow, that's expensive. 
And so the mindset is going after clients now that value your worth, that value your experience, that value the knowledge that I have and are willing to pay for that. And those that don't, then um, we can send them to h and Block or somewhere up the street. We can. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, that that's amazing. That is awesome. I, man, I, once again, I'll, I'll say this. I appreciate, thank you. Thank you, family. Thank you, wife. Thank you, sons, for allowing me to coach you, um, allowing me to push you. You know, that's uh, unique and I'm very grateful um, for that. Um, yes, um, it's definitely something to where, um, as we've talked about, yeah, just time, you know, and, and guys, for some of you, it is going to be time to shift your clients, meaning you're going to lose a lot of clients, but I'm pushing you for value this year. Uh, knowing your worth, knowing who you are, knowing what you're, you're, you bring to the table. And um, that's, that's powerful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, Gloria. That's, that's, that's powerful. Ah, let's go. Miss Tiffany, give me some BS last year. I know some other stuff happened, but in between other stuff happened, I'm sure there was some stuff that you was tripping off of with yourself. What was those things? Uh, some of the things. Um, procrastination was one of them uh you know how you just be overwhelmed and then trying to take care of everything and then just being exhausted so exhaustion led to procrastination procrastination led to i don't feel like doing this <laughs> and i don't feel like doing this led to me telling people no so yeah wow oh that's heavy well, I tell you what, I'm so glad you're on the squad. You're doing some good stuff and we're looking for you to do some more good stuff. At least I know I need you. And there's a lot of other folk that need you too. Now it's just a matter of stepping into that thing and keep on flowing like I know you can. Speaking of which, there's a deal I got to talk to you about. Someone called me on. They're trying to find a way to develop their own company using what you do. Anyway, I'm sorry. That just ran across my mind. I was talking to another client today, yesterday. If I, can, uh, if I can just tell you by on the phone something, if you don't mind, yeah. okay. um, if you name it, last year it happened to me from moving from losing a business building to losing a parent to losing yourself to battling depression. All those many things has happened. Um, the greatest thing I can say is that once I hit the ground floor, the only thing I can do now is look up. So. Don't wait until you hit the ground floor, everybody. Wherever your footing is right now, wherever your foundation is right now, stand firm footed, believe in what you have been taught by Ron, believe in what you've been told by God, keep your eye on the prize and speak into the atmosphere, what it is that you want, where you wanna go, how you wanna get there and do a little bit each day. So that way you don't have to do like me. I'm starting from the ground up. Like, where do I go from here? And so if you already have a place that God has given you and you have a place where Ron has put you, don't deviate, run. That's wow. it. Strong words, strong words, strong words, which you are definitely, I appreciate that. Those, those are things that now, once again, that helps someone else get to where they're going. But also knowing that all of us on the Zoom, once again, we're all dealing different levels though, but stuff. Stuff, stuff. Look, that's that's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to wrap this up, guys. I, I know I've held you tonight. I want you to think a little bit. I want you to write a little bit. But of course, don't go alone. We don't want you trying to do this alone. Of course, you guys, many of you know I got you. I want to work with you. I want to get you to the point to where you're able to go forward and do the things that you're called to do, realizing that we do all these things. How many saw my commercial with my son? Anybody saw that commercial? I thought that was pretty cool. I'm people are like, man, I'm about sick. I'm tired of seeing you on these commercials. Um, Sean, maybe why matter of fact, while I got you, what is a few things you're gonna be talking about on this uh, event on Saturday? Not this Saturday, not next Saturday. No, is it next Saturday? It's one of these Saturdays. His on the dates on there. <laughs> I think it is next Saturday, yeah, because it's the 19th. Oh, it is next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next yeah. Saturday. Beautiful. Yeah, next Saturday. They got time to plan. <laughs> so next Saturday, I'll be talking about really real estate investing, you know, talking about different strategies, talking about how you can make your money work for you, you know what I'm saying, and not just let it be setting setting in one place let it be depreciating or let it be 
a situation where you're house poor or house rich and money poor, right? So I'm going to really be breaking down just the real estate game to the knowledge that I know. I'm going to be sharing with you all and uh, hopefully it'll be a blessing to you. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be exciting. Um, I know we're going to give you some tag team stuff to help you out, get you going in the right direction. All right, guys, you know, you're on this Zoom, so you know, you know what it is, as they say. You know what it is. Many of you this year, I need you to get on my one-on-one. -on -one. I need to get you locked down. I know you can say, well, I can't afford it. I, I believe you can't afford not to, especially for where you're going this year. So purpose in your heart. I need to get my one-on-one -on -one sessions. I need to get locked and loaded to the point where you can see actual true results individually because this is a great platform for us to kind of go through some things as a group but individually i can deal directly on what you're trying to do refocus you position you or just tweet or show you a few things that maybe you haven't thought of and keep you going and sometimes it's just the accountability of knowing that somebody's holding you hostage to what you said and that's the biggest key i'm going to hold you to what you said and now hopefully you allow me to push you to where I know you can get to. If some of you are on here and you're watching, um, of course, we can get you from zero to a new business in 30 days. And that's a special that we have that we can connect you, get you connected with the right people. Many of you connected with my people who have connected with your people. I got some more people that I'm bringing to the table that's gonna help you even be greater. I mean, imagine your first ebook. I believe next month after our class for your first ebook, you're gonna be like, Ugh. I just did an ebook. I just talked to one client, actually Dr. K, she's not on tonight, but she just wrote her first book and she did it after I slapped her around and said, get that book written. And she did it. And she did it within a quick time and it's out there and she's doing some great stuff. So we got some great uh, results and some proven results that people are actually doing and making moves. All right. So other than that, guys, I appreciate you. Our time is up. Um, real quick, ask coach. I got three minutes. What do you have that's a burning question that I can answer real quick? What do you got? Anybody have anything? Going once, going twice. I'm actually going to add a new segment too in there. It's going to be Ask Coach. I'll wait now. You guys can have a few moments. Are we so, going to have another you, networking session soon? Yes. Matter of fact, it's going to be on next month. I mean, not next month, I'm sorry, in two weeks. So not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Uh, oh, you're talking about, and are you talking about for the pop-up shop? Oh yes, that's what I meant. Okay, well actually, yes. That's something that I absolutely wanna put on the table within this first quarter. So we can actually do something. I do wanna kind of incorporate it. And some of you guys have some great ideas about a fashion show. And so I wanna really get the group together and maybe we'll do a session after our session and we'll discuss that with those of you that are interested. How many are interested in that? Would that be something exciting for you guys? I know the pop-up shop was amazing. Number one, because you guys worked together on it. Number two, it gave you an opportunity to show off your products. And number three, I believe it gave you a little exposure uh, with people knowing what you do. So great, great, great. So yeah, I wanna make sure, because if that's good for you, uh, Del Shana, just so you know, I got people in Arizona that love the shirt you gave my wife. I got people in South Carolina that love the shirt you gave my wife. And they were like, my goodness. And then uh, my girl, uh, Angie, thank you so much for that sweatshirt. And sweat uh, girl, I'm rocking it. People are shouting me out. Oh, I need the hat. So just put, put me down for the hat as soon as you get a chance. Uh, and then my girl, Tiffany, I need the Letterman's jacket. So we're going to talk about that too. That way I can have my old outfit like lined up. I want to wear uh, my stuff made by my people. I'm down with that. All right, guys, I want to have a Delshana book in my hand, a Robbie Wright card in my hand. I want to have clothes on by my people, and I'm going to bust out there and be like, this is, hey, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Right. All right. All if right, you guys, guys don't have Delshana's sweatshirt, men and mm -hmm. women, you need to get it because, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's fire. It's fire. It comes in all colors, by the way. Well, it sounds like a plan. I love to, you know, hey, no shameless plugs. Now, ain't no shameless plugs here. They're just plugs. <laughs> so great, guys. Appreciate you. You guys are amazing. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Next week, I'm going to actually incorporate Ask Coach. And so if you do have some questions that come up during the week, feel free to have those prepared on next week. If I forget, remind me I'm getting old, but better looking. At least that's what I think. Doesn't matter what you think. But anyway, you guys be great. Talk to you soon. Much oh, I got to ask Coach question, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, what you got? Yeah, we still got two seconds. I got right, two seconds. So, uh, 
go ahead and give me two seconds of, of just talking about dominion and the bible man just, just talk about it briefly man go ahead and lay it down that is a beautiful thing actually i spoke on this on sunday about being the image of god being to the point where you get to where now in the beginning he gave us dominion over everything learning how to take authority and be who you already are uh we're not looking for victory we've already got victory we're not looking to win we've already won and so as we take dominion that means that now as kingdom people we actually become kings and queens that we already are. God didn't make any subjects. He made us all kings and queens. We're all on the same level. Only thing that's different is our level of faith and our level of authority that we walk in. So when it comes to dominion, it's already yours. You just have to claim it, walk in it, put your head up, put your chest back, and know that everything God said that you are, you are. Hopefully that's a quick short one. <laughs> Man, drop the mic, big dog. <laughs> all right guys you guys take care i appreciate you much love talk to you guys soon thank you